You're welcome to yet another episode of Easy Access to Healthcare for All, a program sponsored by the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS, to keep you abreast of its stride as it moves Nigeria towards attaining universal health coverage. My name is Aisha Mohammed Ahmed, your regular anchor. Revitalizing the NHIS is one strategy that the NHIS under the current executive secretary is exploring to improve efficiency in the delivery of its mandate to Nigerians. Capacity building for staff is key in this area. It is in this light of this that the organization recently held series of in-house training for staff of various departments in the scheme, grouped together from the state offices to the headquarters. The objective is to bring everyone on board the new thinking and ensure that the mission of attaining UHC is being pursued by all. These trainings are the first of its kind in the history of the NHIS and its impact cannot be quantified. On the program, we shall highlight some of them, their objectives and the response of staff to them. Please stay tuned as we explore capacity building towards improved efficiency in the NHIS. I will be back shortly. First on the program is a highlight of events around the NHIS. In the news, NHIS boss attends Primary Healthcare Summit in Abuja. The Federal Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, organize a primary health care summit in Abuja with the theme Reimaging Primary Health Care in Nigeria. The event had in attendance dignitaries across the health sector including the Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo and Minister of Health Dr. Saigi Ahanere. Professor Nasser Sambu, Executive Secretary NHIS, was present at the event. He was a part of the panelists that deliberated on issues bordering on reviving primary health care attainment of universal health coverage, and many other issues. Professor Sambo speaks in an interview on the importance of the summit. Primary Health Care Development Agency is responsible for uh, it's a supply-side agency, whereby they spearhead the, the development of primary health care, which is supposed to be the entry point to the health care delivery system. If we have, uh, if we look at the uh, implementation of our basic healthcare provision fund, it is through primary healthcare. So if we don't have a, a sound primary healthcare system, even to implement our own component of basic healthcare provision fund will be a problem. So that's why this summit is very, very important and is very key to what the National Health Insurance is doing. Following the recent flag off of the National Youth Service Corps Social Health Insurance Scheme, the Oshun State NHIS Office Team, led by the State Coordinator Mrs. Nafisat Adekule, visited the NYC Orientation Camp on Friday, 25th March 2022, to assess the level of health care being rendered to core members. While there, she interacted with the Oshun State NYC Coordinator and also commended the facility for a job well done. The NYC coordinator also said that LifeWart HMO, one of those that will manage the NYSC health insurance scheme, has requested for a core member to be deployed to their office, and that the core member is presently being trained in LifeWart head office. Mrs. Adekule further made inquiries on when core members will commence choosing their primary health care providers to enable them access health care after orientation camp. She was assured that everything was going according to plan. Welcome back. 
The present leadership of NHIS is leaving no stone unturned in seeing that it puts the scheme on the right path towards fulfilling its mandate. Capacity building is one of the innovative ways through which it is doing this. In this episode, we we'll bring you updates on a series of in-house trainings held in Abuja for staff of the scheme. The trainings aim at equipping the staff, creating synergy amongst them, and enlightening them on its new reforms for repositioning the NHIS for greater impact. Why don't you sit back as we bring you highlights from the training in our next segment, Issues Around the NHIS. Please don't go away. The objectives of the National Health Insurance Scheme, amongst other things, is to ensure that every Nigerian has access to good health care services. It is also to ensure efficiency in the delivery of health care services to all Nigerians. The Act establishing the NHIS as an agency of government empowers it to ensure the effective implementation of the policies and procedures of the scheme towards achieving the objectives of a given Nigerian's easy access to health care. To achieve this, the current management of the scheme is pursuing a rebranding agenda to revitalize the scheme, motivate staff, equip them to better carry out their functions. This is key to the goal of achieving universal health coverage. Capacity building is one key area the current leadership is giving its strength to. Towards this end, the scheme recently organized a series of trainings for staff across departments. The essence of this training is to boost the capacity of staff, help them build a career path and grow in it. The trainings also served as an opportunity for management to interfere with staff, especially those coming from different states across the country. Professor Emen Sambo, Executive Secretary NHIS, highlights the essence of the training and why it has become necessary. You are aware that we have streamlined uh, our human resource for more than 20 years NHS has no career pathway. The staff have no career pathway. You have a finance man working in HR. You have a HR man uh, working in finance, and so on and so forth. So we have streamlined it. So, and we have redeployed all the staff in the areas that they should be. And uh, we will not just sit down and look at them. We have to ensure that we reorient them so that they can now fit in, in, where, in, in, their, in, their, in their areas of, co of, of, of competence. And to do that, we, we organize a series of training through, uh, across all the, uh, the, agency, the agency. The training is also aimed at enlightening every staff of the scheme on their functions, roles and responsibilities. The program is aimed at enlightening all department, all departmental staff in the state offices, roles and responsibilities, both at the headquarters and at the state level. Particularly the state offices that have not been so much involved in the major processes, procedures in the operations of the National Health Insurance Scheme. The series of in-house training started with the Human Resource Department. In the name of God. The training started with an opening remarks by the Executive Secretary where he explained that the training is in line with the rebranding agenda and will help put the scheme on the right path. One of the cardinal things that we need to do, whether we like it or not, is to be able to professionalize the National Insurance Scheme because it is a professional organization. And uh, part, of the way, part of the mechanism of, 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 of professionalizing the organization is to ensure that people that are within the organization have a career pathway. Similarly, if I am from the uh, professional department, I should work within the professional balance and grow and become somebody in the professional uh, in the professional pathway, so as to be able to 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 to, to give my own uh, to, to exert my own professional skill. And if for any reason I'm leaving the organization, I will have been able to. I will fit in into any organization that I found myself. If we don't do that, the NHIS will not, will not be a credible organization. 
Other components of the training included an update on the new reforms in the scheme. This presentation was also given by Professor Emen Sambo. What are the things that we have done? Uh, we, 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 we try to strengthen the state office so that they can be in the vanguard of information dissemination. Uh, we have reintroduced quarterly stakeholders engagement with all the stakeholders and in, including the, state, the quarterly review meeting we do with the state offices. We have reviewed uh, VC ship into gift ship. We have embarked on nationwide work of healthcare facilities accreditation exercise across all the geopolitical zones. We have, uh, we have cleared the backlog of, of all audited accounts in the national insurance scheme. Uh, all backlog uh, of routine accreditation exercise, sorry. Then we have done a routine, uh, a routine state level driven reconciliation exercise. After his presentation, there was room for questions and answers, and staff had the opportunity for clarifications on some issues too. Who are we as NHIS? Another component of the training was the presentation of the new organogram and the functions of Human Resource Department. Similar presentations were made during the trainings for other departments, in addition to specific trainings depending on the peculiarities of each department. The training series continued with the second stream which comprises of the Contribution Department, Finance Department, as well as the Audit Department to advance synergy within these departments as it relates to their operations. Mr. John Oko, General Manager, Finance and Accounts, gave a presentation on the business processes of the department. It entailed the functions, new reforms, organogram of the department, Decentralization of Accounting Functions to State Offices, ETC. We have done a, a business process for each of the departments. You know the linkages. You know what you need to do. It's not a question of you, a department wanting to take over the job of another department. You know where your country ends. You know what to do. You know the linkages. The next is staff fund. Uh, we are making frantic efforts and funds are being recovered from where they are trapped. Maybe at times, at times you read the new, um, newspapers, you say, you see where they say EFCC returned social so, so fund to National Health Insurance Scheme. However, some departments were also merged for the training as their functions complement each other in carrying out the NHIS mandate. One of such is the formal and informal sector departments, which are known as the program departments. The two general managers overseeing the departments, Dr. A.K. Jonathan and pharmacist Chinyeri Nduaka, who has represented and called the sessions here. The organized private sector, which is supposed to complement and create the formal sector. Then we have um, those for large scale, which we are defining as an organized private sector for 500 and above. We have those that are medium scale that will get from to 500 and we have the small scale. And then the GIFT, we all know what GIFT is all about. The, the GIFT is a product where we, we try to, because of the, the small space of the formal sector and to get sure, make sure that Nigerians who are not a formal sector as per definition can come in and be part of the formal sector. They call it formalization of the informal sector. We oversee the general implementation and the operation of uh, basic healthcare provision form. Uh, lastly, any other assignment or responsibility assigned to us by the executive secretary. Yes, right. Uh, the organizational structure. The uh, informal sector department is headed by a general manager who I'm standing for. Then we have three divisions. The first division is the basic healthcare provision fund division that has three units the policy and development unit, then the monitoring unit and support and logistics. Then the second division is the educational social health insurance program. The standards and quality departments alongside the enforcement department were not left out in the training series. The organizational goal of the scheme. There was a presentation by Dr. Yakubu Agada, General Manager Standards and Quality Assurance. It highlighted series of issues and functions, as well as the relationship between internal and external stakeholders. Even if we make 
uh, health insurance mandatory today, but you are not giving quality care. People will enroll and then they won't use it. So these are issues that must be wherever you have frameworks and all that for health system, quality of care will always keep cropping up. And that's why that is because it is understood that it is critical that the care you give is of adequate quality. There was another presentation by pharmacist Gali Mohammed in the course of the training. It bordered on complaints, handling, reconciliation, amongst others. Another very serious or important activity for the officer at the state level is handling of dispute resolutions, especially as it concerns that is the issue of indebtedness to healthcare facilities by the HFO. I'm sure that from the past about six months that we are there on the field, federal state offices, for about eight months, six months, I'm sure that you will have this experience on a lot of complaints that are coming to the state office in respect to indebtedness or non-payment, either people service or capitation or even under private health insurance. Members of the management team express their views on the training. The idea is that a lot of reforms are coming up in NHS. Uh, we are doing a lot of projects, we are doing programs that are new, and the whole idea is to bring all staff up to speed with what is happening. Uh, it's also an idea to emphasize again on the organizational goal, to talk about uh, industrial health coverage, and to talk about ways of getting there and getting Nigeria there as quickly as possible. We are training state offices in order to build their capacity. As you are aware, uh, the management of NHS have taken one policy. That is what we call policy of decentralization. And what we mean is that most of the activities that are field related, that are operational in nature, now we are going to deploy all those activities to be handled at the level of our NHIS state offices. The program is easy access to healthcare for all and it continues with our stakeholders segment. In the course of the training, we sampled the opinion of some personnel in the scheme on their views about the reforms. Some of them described the training as the first of its kind in the scheme, saying that it will foster synergy among staff. It's good enough that um, we are having a training and it's also good enough that we are having everybody come together you get like different views different perspective of the department and what and what the, and it's also an opportunity for people in the state and headquarters to come together and align giving people the people in the state to understand properly what their role in terms of the linkages to the department and all that so it's very good Apart from bringing all the personnel, HR personnel together, we, are, we now know our specific schedule of duty. Not that we didn't know before, but in a very explicit, you know, uh, mode. So everyone knows what to do as you get back to your various states, you know, branches and, and all that. Really good, very enlightening. Others describe the trainings as timely. They say it has awakened them to the reality of a new NHIS and the drive towards UHC. 
is a training to me and to almost all my colleagues is something that is trying to remind us of our roles and responsibilities and what lies uh, in us to discharge our duties effectively, passionately, and to remind us also that this is new NHIS because business is no longer as usual. The training was so intense, um, at least it has given us an opportunity to know more about the scheme, the health reforms, and uh, know about more about our organization, the department, how it runs, how our program runs, and um, what all the agendas, um, what all the agendas entails, and the business processes. Such capacity building, they say, will help staff understand the new reforms and the structure of the scheme with the attendant new changes. This kind of uh, a training is what is needed so that we actually know what the scheme is all about, where the scheme is going. And now you see that everybody is in the know. We are carried along. We know what the scheme is doing. We know the next step and we now know what is expected of states. We have received this training right now. We are going back to our state to deploy what we have learned, to improve, especially on the mandate of our coverage. I've been able to give us a clearer, a better understanding of what we are expected to, to do in the state as we go back. So it's going to, we are better, I am better informed here and it will make me work better, I relate better. For the newly employed medical personnel, the training has given them answers to their questions and cleared some misconceptions. Before this training, I was actually having so many misconceptions about NHIS in some aspects, but with the help of this training, I am well I will say that I'm, I'm now well um, developed about some certain things that was said at the back and I, it's not really clear to me. I've really understood that NHIS is really working towards attaining universal health coverage. One thing this training has done is that it has really helped to clarify a lot of issues that we need to clarify within ourselves. And uh, some of the gray areas even in the scheme that we are not too uh, familiar with. It has really helped us to really, uh, you know, understand it more, embrace it, and uh, in a way, it has even strengthened us to be able to deliver. The NHIS staff there expressing their views on the impact of the in-house training sessions and how it will improve productivity of the workforce in the scheme. Let us take your questions in this last segment of the program. Where do I register? How can I get enrolled? How can I get enrolled? How can I get enrolled? Question. Can an enrollee access healthcare outside his or her state of residence? You may travel out of Abuja. If you are a resident in Abuja, you may travel to Lagos and you become ill suddenly. For example, you develop fever unexpectedly. And, and so you need to assess care. You can go to any NHIS uh, accredited facility with your means of identification. The hospital will treat you and call your HMO immediately. And so they will give the code and the hospital is able to, to claim their, whatever they use to treat you. So we have that policy under emergency. If you are traveling, you have your NHIS card and you are involved in a road, trans, a road traffic accident. If you are taken to any hospital and you are identified properly, the hospital will treat you, NHIS will pay. Where do I register? How can I get enrolled? How can I get enrolled? How can I get enrolled? I think I paid almost almost nothing. We went easy. We only paid 10%. We all work towards accelerating universal health coverage. Everybody, irrespective of focus, gender, has access to basic health care services. A well-motivated staff is key to the attainment of the goals an organization sets for itself. 
Knowledge is also the grease that will increase their efficiency in carrying out their assigned roles. The purpose of all of these is towards taking Nigeria to the point where it can say it has attained universal health coverage. Let's join the train by making sure that you and your loved ones are covered by health insurance. See you next week and stay safe.